Let me just go ahead and say this real quick. I don't know anything about money. I don't know anything about the economy. I don't know anything about like American money system. I'm learning about it, but the more I try to learn about it, the more complicated it gets. Let me, like, y'all, I never understood why America is seen as the most richest country in the world, and yet we have the highest national debt in the world, like country-wise. I just looked at the national debt website. We are square. We are going. We are thirty trillion dollars in debt. The second highest debt in the world is China with ten trillion. We are three times. Like that's three hundred percent of more debt. Yo, and what makes this even weirder is that like we have like billionaires that live in America. I think I want to say Jeff Bezos is a trillionaire, right? So it kind of makes you wonder specifically. How do we have access to all these billionaires and I think one or two trillionaires? How do we have access to all of these ridiculously rich people and have all this debt? You know what I'm saying? It just, it trips me out because it's like, at that moment, I just don't respect the economy no more. Because in order for me to care about the economy, in order for me to focus on the economy, I would have to be under the impression that like the economy is ran by like competent people and not just a bunch of coked up gamblers who who uh, stare at Wall Street all day. Because it's like, y'all ever notice how the economy is always basically, something screwed up is happening at Wall Street, we better make everything more expensive for poor people. It's like, that's, that, that's the only option. Like, I don't get it. I looked up the word economy the other day. And it literally is like, basically, the, you know, the, um, basically the cycle of, wealth and production and stuff like that wealth and production there's a whole cycle and it's like you know if you technically if you look at america like a working a working human body money would technically be the bloodstream you know and with money being the bloodstream you have to wonder how america is still surviving not the fact that the majority of the money is being brought to like rich people who have absolutely like no intent on doing anything right by anyone it will always mess with me how this is a concept. Like, if I was a billionaire, if I had access to just $1 billion, right, you would never hear the phrase. Like, I probably wouldn't be able to handle homelessness on a national scale, but you can bet your sweet bippy that I would, like, like, you would never hear the phrase homeless person in Louisiana anymore. You would never hear that phrase again if I was a billionaire. And it just trips me out how this is a complicated concept. It's, it's wild to me how this... This doesn't make any sense to me, man. Like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand the logic behind make everything more expensive for poor people. And, like, what makes it even crazier is you're not even saying, like, you're not even helping poor people, like, get ahead so we can actually, like, be able to survive in these times. Like, the minimum wage in America is still seven twenty five. Now, granted, I doubt there's any job out there offering seven twenty five an hour. But legally, they can do that. You know what I mean? It's like if a job says, you know what, we gotta start, you know, we, we gotta start paying you guys seven twenty five dollars an hour. There's, you can't say, yo, you can't do that. You know what I mean? It's wild. It is wild that this is a concept. Like, I, I, first off, let me just go ahead and say this right now. I don't believe that money is real. You know what I mean? Because you could, like, you know, there's constant. You could just zap a lot of these things that we owe. So I mean, you would think that with all the money that we owe forgiving the student loan debt would actually be just it just be a common sense practice you know <laughs> i also don't like the idea of privatizing things i don't i don't get that i don't understand why privatizing stuff is a thing to do like because in my because in my brain when i hear the word privatize i just hear hand stuff over to rich folk and rich folk are evil Rich folk are monstrously, I'm not saying that rich folk are like, you know, like, like corrupt or anything like that. But it's, it goes without saying, like, imagine telling a sick person, you don't have, they don't have enough money to go make themselves well. You know what I'm saying? Imagine a sick person and a doctor both saying, yeah, you probably might, you know, you probably might need a surgery. Okay, maybe I will have to, uh, I might need a surgery. Let me go ask my insurance provider who I'm paying money to if I can have this surgery. And the insurance provider who you're paying money to 
says you don't have enough money. And the reason why I say that rich people are evil is because of the fact that, like, rich people, it's like if you are, a, I can, if you're a millionaire or a billionaire, you can, if you live reasonably, you can, a billion dollars is a lifetime supply of money. And if you live reasonably, a million dollars is a lifetime supply of money. You know what I mean? Like, you could, there's a way to make this work. And it's like, so you could only, so the thing, the, the thing that will always sort of confuse me is that like rich people are in charge of a lot of things that we necessarily need in America, right? But they make everything expensive. What do you need all that extra money for? Like what costs a million dollars that you need a million more dollars for? What costs a billion dollars that you need a billion more dollars for? They will always sort of like mess with my brain a little bit that as much as I don't like Mark Zuckerberg, what he offers to the world it's free. Anybody can use it. Anybody can just have a Facebook account. Having a Facebook account is as easy as just having an email address. And it's free. You can do whatever you want with it. And, you know, unless, of course, you say the you share the wrong meme and you end up in, you know, pulling a third day in Facebook jail. But the fact of the matter is, is that at some point, you can communicate with other people as quickly as for free. And the guy who owns that is one of the richest people in America. Meanwhile, on the other side of everything, you got rich people who actually have stuff like the who actually have access to stuff like the housing market, ancestry, uh, ancestry websites, cars, uh, health insurance, all these things. You have rich people that are in charge of these things, and they're saying we want to bleed you dry financially, so you can just have a way to get around, access to access to health, access to ed education. Among other things, like what are these rich people doing? Like what do these rich people do that Mark Zuckerberg ain't doing? You know what I mean? Now I get it, rich people. You know, it's their money; they can do whatever they want. I'm black. I know how that. I know how that logic goes. And I'm not saying that rich people should do anything or that they owe they or they owe us anything or anything like that. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is is that it takes a special kind. Of, of sick individuals to have access to all of this power and see everything that's going on and just be like, I'm going to buy another yacht. You know, like it's, it's weird to me how you have like rich folk who just like another thing, too, is that like everybody like anybody with a working brain hates rich people because they see them because, you know, like rich people are lazy and malicious. So imagine being the one rich person who actually cures homelessness? You know what I'm saying? Uh, gets rid of the national, gets rid of the national school debt, gets rid of the national debt. You know, like makes makes uh, makes every college in America free. I mean, imagine being the person who stops doing, who stops these these corrupt practices from continuing. You will be, you will be the, you will be the most uh, well liked billionaire, millionaire in in history or whatever. But instead, you're just not because you're okay with people disliking you. I guess I don't know. It's just it's weird to me, man. Like, you know, money turns people into some of the most sociopathic, annoying people. And, you know, is and, and what makes it even worse is that you, know, you can't work a job and become a billionaire. You can't you, you can't push shopping carts in front of a Home Depot for like a few years and become a billionaire. You can't wash dishes and become a billionaire. You can't. Like, like you have to do all the jobs you have to do jobs that people consider real jobs because apparently eating isn't something that a real person can provide for another person i mean food is not something that a real person can provide for another person or some along those lines you know everything gets dirty but the guy who cleans up the job doesn't have a real job it, it, it is bizarre to me specifically like the concept of being American and American money and the tier list that goes on up in here, you know, it, it is weird to me because America is just proof that racists are really, really, really bad at being in charge. Y'all have a good one. Love and peace. Be safe. And, um, I'm sorry. It's just, I really need to get that out. The economy.